Hello folks, it's Abfield here back with another Minecraft tutorial and today we're going to be taking a look at Mini Herd and specifically the structure bounding box feature. The first note that I want to make about this is that I am in single player right now. You only need Mini Herd in single player. However, if you are playing on a server, then the server will need the fabric mod Servux. That's S-E-R-V-U-X, and I'll put a link to that mod in the description. If you're the server owner, that needs to be server side, so just drop it in the mods folder and restart your server. If you're not the server owner, then you're going to need to ask them politely, otherwise this will not work on a server. If you need to know how to install Mini Hood or Fabric Mods in general, I'll put a link to that video in the description below. Once you've got it installed, then it's H plus C to open the config menu for Mini Hood. Now, We've got some tabs up here and it's the structures one that we're going to be dealing with today. And the first thing we want to look at is this main rendering toggle. Now, by default, this should actually be on. You can see the reset buttons lit up and that's because this is not set to true. If I hit the reset. You can see I've now got the, the main rendering toggle on. That toggles everything in mini -hood. So I've got a despawn sphere set here. And in the top left hand corner, I've got the F3 style debug menu on. And if I hit that H key, it'll turn them both back off. And back on again so make sure that's turned on to begin with the next thing we want to look at is these things down here now we're going to play with the nether fortress today we're going to ignore these but you can see it will work for plenty of other structures too you simply need to hit the button here to set it to true if you want to set a hotkey you can you just click on here set your hotkey and then click in a blank bit of space here so it goes orange i'm just going to reset that for now one thing I want to note here is when I click true, you see nothing's happening in this background. I appreciate it's dulled out, but bear with me. There's a reason for that. It's because there's another thing that you need to be aware of for this. It's this one here, the overlay structure main toggle. Now, again, you can set a hotkey, but I don't think you're going to use these enough that you need a hotkey. So simply click the button and then boom, the screen lit up a bit. We've got some red bounding boxes here. Now, nether fortresses are more complicated than a lot of other structures. They're made up of a lot of individual kind of structure pieces. And you can see this is why people tend to use crossroads as good places for wither skeleton farms. They've got a nice big square area. You can have the three layers on them. And you can see all these individual components here making up the, the entire box. So there we have it, folks. That's the structures bounding box feature. So it's H plus C, and obviously you can reset when you're done and you can just set that one false to turn them all off. If you enjoyed the video, folks, consider giving it a like. It'll let people know it's a good video that other people should definitely watch, and consider subscribing to the channel as well. If you're looking for a fun, free, completely free to play on survival server, then I'll put a link to my Discord in the top right-hand corner. Join the Discord, we'll get you whitelisted, you can come join an amazing survival server. But anyway, folks, that's all I have time for today. I'm Abfielder. Goodbye.